What if I told you guys the biggest ride ever is coming up? Let's get the video started. Now, if you know who Adam Sandoval is, you may have already heard about the ride I'm, ta I'm talking about. The link is in the description below. And, you know, if you've already heard about the ride, that's okay. If, you know, you can still watch my video too, right? Also, if you haven't heard about it, you should probably check out Adam's channel linked down below also. But let's get to work. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max, and I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Chet H.G. Harley-Davidson. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So if you want to learn more about Harley-Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. So as I mentioned, Adam's been talking about the ride on his channel, but the lowdown of it is basically that he's going for a Guinness Book of World Records record for the most Harley Davidsons in a single like parade or ride or whatever. Current record I think is 2400 and it's in Greece or something. But trying to bring it home, that's what they're calling it. And yeah, shooting for like 3000. Should be cool. Thanks, Steven. Technically it's from Steve and his wife Mary. It's uh, made in the USA coffee. Apparently Hawaii is the only state that commercially grows and processes coffee in the United States. That's where he's from and he sent me some coffee. Thanks man. So the ride is one month away exactly if you're watching this on the day that I post this video. Ah. Oh. Thanks Clark. New Orleans coffee. Thanks bro. <laughs> Koozies and packing stuff. Thanks, man. I'm putting this video out now because it's a month away and well, that takes some planning. For me, for example, this is the last video for me you'll see until I'm in San Diego. So because I'm working on a trip that's before this trip, I haven't really started figuring it out exactly just yet, but I want to make sure you guys have enough time to, you know, figure out when and where and how to get there. And just in case you don't want to come back to this video to find out what it is that's going on, you can actually just go to Google and type in World Record Harley Davidson Parade. Boom. The first thing to pop up. Oh, that's not the right thing. I'm so dumb. Oh, well, let's see. Let's check this out. This is actually the original one from the 22nd of May, 2010. It happened in Greece and the Harley Davidson Club Hellas did it. 2404, that's the total number. All right, kind of glad I found that actually. So the second one to pop up is, well, the description of the ride, all that stuff. This isn't the right thing either. Internet is so hard. The Paris Harley Davidson one. That's what we're looking for. Boom. All of the information right here. On Friday, September 14th, there's a pre-party from 6 to 10. Saturday, September 15th is the actual ride. You can check in from 8 to 12 p.m. Line up at 10. Kickstands up at 2. Asterisk, all times are subject to change. So think about that. All right. A uh, couple of... Q&A's, you must have a motorcycle license. There is a registration fee of $35. All proceeds will go to the charity of Adam's Choice. Let's go down here to the last one. Combat Veterans of Motorcycle Association, the CVMA guys, you see them all over the place. That's a solid charity to donate the money to. All riders are welcome, but due to the Guinness's rules, only Harley-Davidson bikes will be counted during this parade. So, I mean, it, still be a cool ride. The route will be from Paris Harley-Davidson and the parade will go until they reach the checkpoint location and then to the final destination of Choctaw Casino and Resort in Grant, Oklahoma. Check-in location is at Paris Harley-Davidson, 2875 Northeast Loop, 286 Paris, Texas 75460. Do rider and passenger have to register? No, the registration is per bike. So that's cool. All right, so now that I've given you guys the lowdown, I actually am going to pitch the whole thing to 
our hog group. A uh, local chapter is the Painted Rock chapter. With it being a month away, hopefully I can get a bunch of guys to go, just like I want you guys to at least know about it, and hopefully you can go. If you can't go, at least you knew that it has happening and you just can't go. But, uh, sorry I didn't film anything about work, but it's a little hectic. Oh, check out, check out this little clip from last week while I go set up at the hog group. There's a duck. I don't even know where it came from. Just, it just showed up after this rainstorm we just had. It does seem kind of friendly. All right, that's the weird thing at the shop for the day. Now we'll get back to the regularly scheduled video. John Maxwell, employee here at um, the Hooch. If you're not familiar with John, although most of you probably are because he's probably worked on most of your bikes at some point or another. Um, but he also has a side gig that's gained a lot of popularity worldwide. In fact, right before the meeting started, no lie, Jim Seymour and Marty are on vacation. They were coming up from the beach today. Jim had on his Hooch shirt. And a guy stopped him and asked about John Maxwell. He knew about his videos. I didn't get where the guy was from, but that just tells you it's reaching out. But um, I'm going to turn it over to him. Welcome, John. Thanks. Well, thank you. So I'm actually going to talk about an event coming up in September, not here, but in Paris, Texas. All right, so that's my little bit for the hog group as well. I don't, I think I mentioned all that stuff to you guys already, so it probably just looked like me standing in front of the stage with some talk. I don't do public speaking really well. It's a lot easier to talk to this camera that doesn't even talk back. Also, that duck, he left. We bought him a pool. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this because I took a picture, post it, you know, because that's, you know, that's what you do on Instagram. But. I'm pretty sure there's something else I was supposed to mention. Oh yeah, okay, so my plan is to make it to the ride. I make no promises though, I haven't dialed everything in. I know that I should be able to go. I've got a couple of travel options, bike options and stuff, because um, I don't really want to take one of mine. I, just, I really want to do something more epic than that. It's gonna be a really freaking cool, man. All right, so let me know any questions below. Make sure to check out the links too because they they're probably will answer just as well as I can. Let me know if you think you're going to go. I, I mean, I'd really like to go because I want it to be like a fan meetup or something. I haven't ever actually personally met Adam. Uh, I just talked to him on the internet like I talked to you guys mostly. So I'm looking forward to it. So if you like this video, give it a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification so you know when I upload, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.